Right now, there's major concern over arsenic in apple juice. Good evening, I'm Danita Harris. And I'm Lee Jordan. Dr. Oz is standing by his research that shows arsenic in the major brands of apple juice. And he's taking a lot of heat for his warning on yesterday's show. Now, the whole country is watching, including the government. Pete Kenworthy has the newest reaction from our newsroom now. A lot of talk about this today, Pete. Yeah, Lee, there is. And the reaction has actually all come out against Dr. Oz. But what he said, certainly scary for parents. Some of the best known brands in America have arsenic in their apple juice. That's what started the firestorm. Dr. Oz focused his show on apple juice and said the testing that his show had done showed arsenic levels that are dangerous. Not so fast, says the managing director of the Northern Ohio Poison Center. It was a little uh, sensationalistic and sort of disingenuous how the material was presented. As ABC's Dr. Richard Besser pointed out on Good Morning America, there are two kinds of arsenic and one is not dangerous. The Dr. Oz show admitted that they didn't separate the two in their tests. How can you go on the air and publish arsenic results without breaking it down into total, uh, into inorganic and organic, into the dangerous kind and the, and the, the, the kind that's not, not dangerous? No children are dying from acute toxicity from arsenic. The levels you're talking about are much lower than that. My concerns are about long-term effects over years. We found mothers whose children drink apple juice, this one drinking it when we saw her. Neither mom is going to change their habits based on Dr. Oz. Well, my daughter, she's been drinking apple juice for, you know, for a year. You know, she's just two. She just turned two. She loves it. <laughs> different studies, different tests, so everybody has their own opinion on it, which, my opinion, apple juice is great. An opinion that was echoed by doctors around the country today. It's a good source uh, of vitamins and, you know, a good source of uh, fluids and, uh, for, for children, and they'll drink it. So there's really no reason to not. It's, it's safe. Well, the Dr. Oz Show responded today by saying that they will do further testing to separate the different kinds of arsenic and apple juice. But Dr. Oz and his team stand by their report that total arsenic needs to be lower. Lee? Pete, I talked to ABC's Dr. Richard Besser today, and, and he said he believes it's fine to give your kids apple juice, but it shouldn't be the only thing they drink. What did you hear? Well, the same thing. According to many other doctors and the FDA, it's okay. So it sounds like it's up to parents to make their own decisions. Okay, Pete, thanks very much. We also asked you on Facebook, does Dr. Oz's study on apple juice concern you? Leanne writes, it has way too much sugar in it, forget the arsenic. And Bart writes, I'm glad Dr. Oz told everyone it's time our government and businesses own up to what they allow in our food. The majority of our Facebook fans thanked Dr. Oz for the study and agreed Americans need more information about what is in our food. Log on to facebook.com slash wews5 and give us your opinion. We read every single one.